Hi everyone, it's Tom, WA2IVD. This time, we'll take a look at a quick tip about using the multifunction knob with different tuning steps. This applies to both the IC7300 and the IC705, and although I don't have one, I believe it applies to the IC9700 as well. Let's get started. The IC7300 version 1.4 firmware update added the kilohertz indicator on the display. On the IC705, this indicator was there before the most recent software update. On both radios, it indicates that the multifunction knob will tune the radio in kilohertz steps. This allows you to tune in larger steps without having to tap the kilohertz digit on the display and use the main tuning knob. What is less obvious is that the step size doesn't have to be exactly 1 kilohertz. This isn't covered very well in the firmware update documentation for the 7300, and it's not covered very well in the IC705 manual. The tuning step for the multifunction knob is the current default tuning step setting. You can access the menu for this by pressing and holding the 1 kilohertz digit on the display. This will show you the available tuning steps. Whatever step size that you select will become the new tuning step increment for the multifunction knob. For example, if you choose 0.1K, then your step size becomes 0.1 kilohertz. Or you could choose 10K and tune in 10 kilohertz steps. The step size is separate for each mode, so you could set it to be 0.1 kilohertz in CW, for example and it will still be 1 kilohertz in sideband. There is one minor difference with this setting between the 7300 and the 705. The 705 has additional step size options. There are enough choices to add a second page to the menu on the 705. Other than that, the two radios behave the same, including the step separate step size for each mode. Well, that's all we're covering this time. There are many functions in the IC7300 and the IC705 that are either completely or very nearly identical between the two radios. I'm considering doing more videos in this format and covering both radios with a single video when it makes sense. I would highlight any small differences from one radio to the other, as I did this time. I thought the format would be helpful for people who own both radios or for people who own one and may be considering getting the other. I'd be very interested in your comments as to whether this is a good idea or a bad idea and why, so please leave those in the comments. If you found this video helpful, I would appreciate a click on the like button. If you find the channel useful, please consider subscribing. You can also click on the bell icon to be notified when new videos come out. Beyond the comments I just mentioned, I'm always happy to get comments with corrections, suggestions, or any other thoughts that you might have. Please check out the companion website for the channel at a2z.tech. You'll find a link in the description. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm Tom, WA2IVD, and for now, this is Ham Cured Smoke.